today having an art lesson. <laughs> Isn't that right? Kind of. Yeah, because um, I'm not very good at art. Well, we're, we're doing a street art gallery. Yes. Yeah. I'm going to pick that bit of rubbish up in a minute. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, street art gallery, just yes. uh, explain what that means. Well, some might call it graffiti, others might call it um, commissioned wall art. Um, I, I think it can be in, 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 in between and in the middle. So we're investigating a chap who's been putting a lot of art in and around Worthing in West Sussex where we live. Yes. His name, well I don't know his real name, but he goes under the name... Of Horace Art. Horace Art. He started off doing Horace caricatures. Now Horace was a, uh, you were probably well aware, yes. he was a, a vibrant character um, around the Worthing area. Um, I remember seeing um, the real man, Horace, back in the 70s when we used to come down to Worthing um, to the seaside yeah. and he would stand by a big roundabout um, and doffing his hat doffing his hat he had a his leg and smoking a fag and yeah he had um, one of those um, straw hats yeah. that boater type hat yeah. bow tie looked very dapper yeah. and the legend was that he had well this is the legend as I heard it that he'd come into some money and it had sent him mad so he had this bicycle he also had a red nose and he used to doff his hat yeah and um, so we've seen some of this Horace art yeah. and it's appeared in some of the videos when I, during lockdown. Mm. That's right. But, Just, but you didn't intend that to be the case. No, but no. I was spotting was, them and I was yeah. like, oh, there's another bit, there's another bit. <laughs> so we're on a bit of a, a Horace art trip today. Yes. So first of all, there's a, a bit of genuine Horace on, yes. the, on the wall. Unfortunately, half of it is uh, gone. Um, but you can still see essentially who it is. I mean, anyone who knows anything about Worthing recognises this. I mean, I personally never saw him or never met him, of course, but um, his, his, uh, his legend lives on. Is it the, the artist is a sort of a, a kind of a Worthing Banksy, is that right? Uh, yeah, I would yeah. say so. So we're standing in Newland Street and Morrison's is just behind us. And on the corner of a, a building that's been for sale for ages, I think at one point there was a guy doing um, furniture restoration in there. But only the other day, a couple of weeks ago, uh, I saw a van here and um, this chap was just painting on there. And at first I just thought, oh, they're going to you know, tidy up the whole building. It needs a bit of a lick of paint. <laughs> but no. Not quite. <laughs> so um, yeah, this piece is interesting. I mean, I don't actually have any idea what it actually means, apart from the fact that it's a target. And a pigeon. Well, pigeons are a, a bone of contention for a lot of people. They don't like them. They call them sky rats and things like that, which I think is rather unfair because the reason any animal hangs around in urban areas is because there's a niche for them there to survive. So, um, besides, the animals are just as much part of this world as we are. But yeah, so I'm not sure what the, what the target and the pigeon is all about, but it says wake up. It's interesting that it's on the corner of the building. I quite like that. It hides the, the big grey matter of the, um, uh, the pigeon. So from when you come up and drive past, you may only see just half the target yeah. and wonder, oh, is it a logo for a company here? But clearly it's not. Clearly not, no. But I, I think it brightens up the place. And I, I, do, I do like art. I'm a bit of an art appreciator. I know not everybody is, um, and unless unless it's just someone's gang tag name or whatever, you know, written on there, I see it as art. But um, yeah, I don't know what you guys think. Maybe say so in the comments. So there's some more, isn't there, um, of his work mm. in town? But also recently appeared is some um, graffiti art which yeah. is on some hoarding. Should we have a look at that? Yeah, I don't know if that's anything to do with Horace. No, I don't think it is. It's a sort of by the way as we go into town to have a look at the other stuff. But, yeah. you know, compare and contrast. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, so I'm interested. We've, we've crossed over the road and right in front of us is this uh, stretch of the graffiti, which, as we said before, is nothing to do with Horace art. And um, we watched it as we had to cross the road, which was a bit tricky. Sorry about the noise of the traffic. Uh, they've got this uh, cycle lane testing thing in, which has been a bit of a contentious issue, but that's, that's not a, what we're here. a whole nother story. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So, um, shall we move down and uh, yeah. talk, uh, get the impression from what you think? 
Yeah, I mean, so far I'm just seeing a load of random words like past, shine, what's this one? Uh, and it's really hard to actually see what they say anyway. Yes, to we're me, right. To me so far it just looks like a load of names and tags and random cartoons. It's like, it's like someone's mishmash tattoo and I've got no problem with tattoos. But, you know, they're personal and they're on yourself. And Here's a, a bit more of a sort of artistic type of thing. But, um, again, as you can see behind this, it is just like a smear of colour, especially if you're driving. Yeah. What does it mean? It's the sort of thing I'd expect to see doodled in someone's workbook, textbook or something. Yes. So, students. <laughs> We have arrived um, in Montague Street. Well, that's Montague Street. This is Portland Place, Portland Road, um, that we're in now, in Worthing. So you've got the heart of Worthing behind us. You can probably see Marks and Spencers, uh, which is open, and it's a busy town centre. And then in front of us, and we're gonna, what we're going to do is we're going to walk over this because it's painted... On the road. On the road. So, uh, with, the, with the trolley, and then we're going to turn around, and there's also people dining because one of the restaurants there sort of spills out onto it, so yeah. we can't get above it to look at it, which is a shame. No, I think you'd have to come early in the morning before the uh, yes. cafe restaurant thing is... And then climb up a, a wall, or, of course, you could... Um, have a drone. Have a drone, <laughs> but I don't think you'd be allowed to fly the drone in the town, but no. if you were quick. Anyway, so shall we... Shall we, Onivar? Yeah. So th you pointed this out to me, Julia. Yes, because I saw it on the, the Ada news were circulating it, a couple of images of it, and um, yeah, I thought it was interesting. And it's all about um, Worthing getting back into the whole, you know, business thing. After the lockdown, After and, lockdown. and COVID and stuff. Should we just yeah. go a bit further yeah. forward? So, um, yeah, I mean, this is very difficult to appreciate the art when it's painted and you're, you're effectively in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, it was, I, I wonder if that's part of the idea. Yeah, it was quite confusing up that end, trying to find the ramps from the uh, curbside down. But <laughs> because they were painted, they're painted ramps. Yeah, yeah. So it actually, each panel along here, I don't know if you can see the panels, but each panel has a word in it. What does it say? Well, um, I believe it says, um, it's time for Worthing to get back in the game. Ah, right. And then exclamation marks. And the game being, I guess, the game the of business and game. commercial and, and doing all Getting of that. Getting on with life, I think. Yeah. yeah. So we're standing on a, um, a retro game. Yes, we're standing on the word game. And you've got Pac-Man in the G with the dots, following the dots, and then one of the ghosts in the A. I, just, I love that little reference to, you know, a retro game a retro in game. the word game. Yeah, because Worthing's got to get back into those retro games. <laughs> Wait. Hmm. So this and this, this is Horace Art, is it? Yes, it's, it's made by the, the, the fellow who does the Horace Art. So I'm guessing this has been commissioned. I actually have no idea. Because um, I mean, you know, you start something like this, and someone's going to tell the police, aren't they? And they're going to yeah, come and yeah. stop you. It, it must be in collaboration with the council or something, because he wouldn't have gotten away with this. No one would. Um, I mean, like we say generally graffiti is frowned upon and this I don't see as graffiti this is artwork um, even if you don't understand the artwork it's still artwork um, I like it I like it it's, it's certainly different and it's it's not going to last forever is it really we've been to the town as you saw and we've come back to the big target at the beginning got some wonderful pieces down here did you see the tortoise I did and there's the coronavirus with, um, with touch and then love with the coronavirus um, molecule in it then you've got uh, 10 Downing Street painted on that one you've got these um, 
mismatched portraits of a girl's face, a woman's face. Um, a mermaid down there. Got another target with some pigeons and then some classic advertisements painted there. I, I love this bit, it's great.